Your vibration reading for the sun, moon, and rising Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the month of October 2017. The month of October is the energy as the energy vibration from the looked energies, and we begin the month with the looked energies, and we end the month with the water energies. So it's going to be a wonderful, a positive um, month. Okay. What is happening here um this month we have four energies and your energy for this month is going to be the queen of a heart so you have received the energy of the queen of the earths and we are going to look and see why a lot of people are going to have specific situations some of you are going to need to use the energy of the queen of earths in this month okay you're a fire sign so it won't be hard the queen of earth is practical and grounded trustworthy hurtly resourceful a garden who tends a gardener who tends to what has to be planted so this is the energy vibration that you need to have in this month of October you need to ground yourself you need to con commit and uh, be down to earth and clear about your goals so you also need to be honest as you work with others and keep in reality be true to what you are doing and your challenge before you you need to use all your resources wisely whether they are financial opportunities or people willing to help you in any situations okay so it's very important for you to take on some of the energy vibration of um, the energy of the hurt women because they're very strong people first week you have the five of ones so in the first weeks you're going to have a regret in the first week you're going to regret something You're going to regret something happening, but there is going to be a new beginning. Okay? And it has to be you're regretting some emotional situation. But your health is going to be good. Whatever is happening, you're regretting a situation. Um, the ending of a situation. You're regretting that you have agreed to something or you're regretting that someone is leaving you're re regretting seeing someone leave um, you're regretting a situation with your health because the tree is always about your health there is a situation so there is a huge regret coming up but yet still with this regret there's going to be a new beginning but you're regretting um, there's a loss and you're regretting it emotion your emotional unbalanced but yet still there is going to be a new beginning what is happening is that sometimes you regret certain things that are happening sometimes maybe people are leaving maybe it's time that other people decide to move on and you're regretting that because maybe you have grown so attached and you are happy having the person around and now the person is leaving in the second week you have the your own energy vibration and also the energy of the king of a fire for you men the second week is here um, for you men there is going to be an ending so for you Aries men whatever situation that and these are for people who have been vibrating on a negative aspect um, if you have been um, involved in doing wrong doings there come an end into it and this is for the um, the men who have been vibrating in a low energy vibration so if you have been cheating other people if you have been lying and cheating it's going to come to an end now for you men for some people it's going to be if your father um, is a tower is an Aries and your grandfather if it, that person is sick 
it could be a debt in your family also okay some people do not like when I talk about debt but the angels and guides can we can say it we don't have to say the time and when but for you men there is going to be transformation if you have been doing wrongdoings there is going to come an end to it for some people there is going to be people transforming from out this earthly world to the spirit world as we move forward there is a message of fire which is very good in the third week so this is good the message is going to come from someone who is the knight of fire so this is good so this is a positive energy for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 this is going to be a positive week for you good message is coming good message or about you're about to receive a good message so for the men who the masculine energies and it can also be for the positive the ladies so for um, the young people between the ages of 18 and um, 35 there is a positive news on its way to you very positive news on its way to you as we look forward we are going to be looking at the week of the last week we have the four of earth whatever your financial situation is you are going to have enough whatever the financial situation is around you you're going to have enough it's going to be wonderful and you also have the three of cups a celebration and a new beginning new possibilities new opening new things are about your life is about to open up because we also saw that happening at the first part of the week you're going to have regrets about somebody leaving somebody moving away but a new beginning is going to come in at the end of the month you are going to realize that you're financial stable and you're going to have a celebration and new opportunities new doors of opportunities are going to be opening for every one of you Aries okay so it's a positive month for you Aries no matter what is going on it's going to be an extremely positive month for you Aries sometimes we look at the month and we think oh my god but when we look and see that in the middle of the month there is two fire energies that is going to balance you guys out you're going to see that wonderful possibilities if you just use the energy of the queen of of um, pentacles the um, the earth energies um, you will um, come through this month very easily let's ask the angel what is in the energy vibration of the month for the love for love for love mm, it's gonna be good yep new love is coming in for some of you energy of love is positive um, um, for some of you your wishes and dreams for love relationships is going to be positive and for some of you new love is about to enter your life for the people who have been in relationships for a very long time it's going to be a very very positive one um, uh, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out uh, for what you were wishing for in your relationship which is very very positive so whatever it has been happening um, know that it's going to be positive let's look and see what's happening for the sun sign for you Aries the Librans are coming up and the Pisces which is good so for the sun sign Aries for the sun sign Aries we you are going to be working with the Librans the Pisces and Mars so a lot of you are going to be changing your career whatever the situation is a lot of you will be changing your career you'll be working with the Librans which is very good you'll be um, connecting with the Librans for the people who were born in the day 
you be collected with the liberance and the Pisces so whosoever these people are they can be coming in your life to help you uh, through career changes for some people and just to be as a friend for others as we look at the moon sign that's people who were born um, between um, 6 p.m. and um, 12 a.m. for the Librans Aries they're going to work with the cancers the Venus the planet of love Wow okay so for the moon people the moon people will be working with the cancers the cancers have been coming up in this month of October for a lot of people working out karmatic situation with a lot of people and Venus the planet of Venus is also coming up working out the love scenarios and you are and you will be working with water signs so sometimes you fire people um, if you're looking for a relationship the cancers and the scorpions are the best people to have relationships with because that is really true love that is balancing out um, it's having the positive elements because you are fire and you're having water and this is good so this is a good balanced relationship so a lot of you will be connecting with the cancers and the scorpions okay so this is good for the last energy that we're using we are using the energy of the angels of abundancy and windfall of abundance is coming in for you um, there's a windfall of abundance that is coming in for you Aries so this is a wonderful wonderful news an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms some of them unexpected be open to receive and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose health and charitable work and this is so positive this is so good so congratulations for you Aries people because a windfall of abundance is coming in for you guys okay as we move forward we I would like to say to each and every person please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and also thumbs share like these videos and I will speak to you it's a very short reading this this is strange it's like as if time has never passed okay let's see in uh, in this reading if anything what is coming out at me with these reading is that in the second week there is going to be trans transition of people moving people transforming from this world to the other world and it's a time of spirituality so a lot of changes is happening whatever is happening in the first week of the emotional imbalance that you're having understand that sometimes um, things have to hand so that new things can come in for the men in the second week um, some of you whoever that has been doing and disrupting other people life there is going to come a huge a clamp down it's going to be the end of you it's going to be a transition that is going to affect you and for the third week there's a message that is coming in and good a good news is on its way um, in the third week you are going to have a sense good news good information will be coming in as we look at the number five energies um, um, I'm getting the number five for you guys I don't know whatever is happening there but it's all about your health it's about karma it's about growth whatever is happening depression and major illness might happen in the first two weeks some people might learn of the depression and major illness in the first week okay first and second week that might happen 
so as you look at the second week moving out of the second week uh, into the third week uh, um, there is news of new beginnings that is going to happen so that was that was what I was saying that there's a message of new beginnings that is going to happen for you guys in the third week as we look at the fourth week the fourth week is a wonderful week it's a positive week it's a week of celebration new things are about to happen for you um, Aries and this is wonderful a message is coming in and the message is going to come a message about um, decisions and multiple opportunities that will be coming in for you Aries so this is going to be a very positive month one of the most positive um, of reading that I have received for, um, since the old month reading because there is really a shift of energy and a shift of consciousness that is happening remember that love is the most important thing and what is happening in your love life is that a lot of people are going to be connecting and meeting new people when you look at the um, people who were born at night they are going to be working with the planet of Venus and uh, um, Pisces is coming in to help them with the energy vibration of love because the Pisces art are all um, and it's going to be positive because whenever Pisces and the Libra comes in to work with uh, um, you Aries it's always wonderful because it's help you to soften up your heart and I want to say to each and every person out there please like share these videos um, remember that um, this is the beginning uh, of the last quarter of the year so try and to be positive remember to use the energy of the hurt sign people in this month and you will get through in a positive way and i want to say namaste until next time